This video is sponsored by Novium, but I'll talk more about that later. Elon is insanely optimistic about the potential of their Optimus humanoid robot program, and Tesla has backed up some of that optimism with various demo videos over the last few years. Stick around as I quickly analyze this recently released Optimus video and also discuss what Elon recently revealed. I'm John, and this is CleanerWatt. This video showing an Optimus robot jogging was recently posted on the official Tesla Optimus X account with a text, just set a new PR in the lab. I'm really impressed with how smooth Optimus is running here. And when you look closely, the robot is actually momentarily airborne during the stride. When you compare this in slow motion side by side to an actual human, you can see how similar this jog is to how an actual human moves. Of course, Tesla is not the only one with an impressive humanoid robot. There are several other companies that have some impressive robots as well, including, for example, Unitree. And their R1 robot is shown in this video running downhill with a very natural, smooth, human-like gait. In addition, Boston Dynamics Atlas is also very smooth. However, it's important to remember that while other companies do have some impressive robots, Tesla appears to have a huge competitive edge over these other companies, and Elon recently discussed that. But before I dive into that, this portion of today's video is sponsored by Novium. Christmas is right around the corner, and chances are you probably still have a few gifts to purchase. Well, I really love Novium hover pins, and I believe you and anyone that you gift them to will as well. Now is a great time to go ahead and make your purchase, not only because Christmas is coming soon, but also for the first 48 hours after the release of this video, you can get 15% off, or after 48 hours, you can get 10% off, plus free shipping to most countries. Hover pins are a high quality and memorable gift that lasts for yourself or the people on your list. And unlike some gifts, which get opened and rarely used, the Novium hover pin, I believe, is something that they will use and enjoy. One great example is the innovative hover pin Interstellar, which is not only a great writing utensil, but also is inspired by space. And when placed in a space, it appears to be hovering at a 23.5 degree angle, mirroring the Earth's axial tilt. They even offer the hover pin Interstellar as part of a gift set with various accessories, including a nice notebook. In addition, for those who prefer writing with a fountain pen, Novium offers their high quality and stylish hover pen future with a two-in-one fountain pen rollerball configuration. Click the link in the video description or scan the QR code to find out more. And if you use code CLEANERWATT at checkout, you can get 15% off for the first 48 hours after the release of this video. And after 48 hours, you can get 10% off plus free shipping to most countries. Okay, going back to Tesla's advantage over the competition, like no other robot company, Tesla is uniquely equipped to bring a useful and affordable mass production robot to market and this is something that Elon recently discussed at their annual shareholder meeting. During that meeting, Elon said, so Tesla is already the biggest robot manufacturer in the world because every car we make is a robot. There is a lot of truth to what Elon said there. Yes, you can drive your Tesla manually, but the vehicle really is a computer on wheels. And if you pay for the full self-driving package, you know what I mean. The vehicle is really kind of a robot. Elon went on, and so really Optimus is a robot with arms and legs as opposed to a robot with wheels. So you know, Tesla's ideally suited, I think, to succeed in this arena. You will see certainly many companies showing demonstration robots. There's really three things that are super difficult in robots. One is engineering the forearm and hand because the hand is an incredible thing. Actually, it's super dexterous. The second thing that Elon mentioned there is real world AI, which of course Tesla has a lot of experience in with their full self-driving program. Then the third thing is volume manufacturing. And with Tesla's success in manufacturing complex vehicles at scale, that experience is gonna help them a lot with manufacturing robots at scale. Elon went on, those are generally the things that are missing. One or more of those things is missing from other companies. So Tesla is the only one that has all three of those. Now at this point, I would love to know what you think. Do you think there are any other robot, humanoid robot manufacturers in the world that have those three things that Elon mentioned? 
or do you think Elon's right here? Now, the current version of Optimus is really still a prototype. It's being produced at very low scale and it's not being sold to outside companies. With that being said, on the official Tesla X account, this video was published with these four important updates written here. The first update was Optimus pilot production line is currently running in our Fremont factory. That pilot production line is what's shown in this video. And of course, these robots are being hand built. But nonetheless, remember, this is just a prototype line. In addition here, it's written significantly larger Gen 3 production line coming in 2026. It was also revealed, quote, we're also testing in our factories and office spaces for real time use case. And lastly, I believe this is really important that Tesla is still aiming for this because this is something that has been said for a while. But it's written here, quote, our goal is $20,000 cost of goods sold per robot at scale. So those are some exciting updates. And Elon did have some things to say about that basic topic at the annual shareholder meeting as well when he said, so this is the Optimus prototype production line. The high volume production line will be very automated obviously, but this is really the production line that we will use to make prototypes. So you can get a sort of rough sense for what it takes to build a robot. And then as I've said before, I think once we reach about 1 million units per year of sustained production or in excess of that, I think probably the cost of production is around $20,000 in current year dollars. So the Optimus robot is not going to be cheap. However, if Tesla can really keep the cost of goods sold down to around $20,000 or so, it will be something that just like people can afford vehicles that they will be able to get financing for and most likely afford an Optimus robot. It's not going to be like a $100,000 robot, but it might be like a $30,000 robot. It's not going to initially be that price, but once again, at scale, that price will come down to where Tesla can offer it at a relatively affordable price. Now, initially, because the value of Optimus is so high, higher prices can be justified by companies for commercial use cases. If, for an example, an Optimus robot can replace a human that costs that company around $60,000 per year, and if you buy a robot that can last five or six years and you pay $60,000 for that robot, that, of course, is a good deal. So the commercial use case of robots is going to make sense at higher cost. And when it comes to around the house use, of course, that's where the price needs to come down to that of a vehicle or lower. Now, when it comes to the timeline of future versions of Tesla's Optimus robot, Elon said, you know, next year we start production with Optimus version three. What you're seeing here is Optimus version 2.5. Optimus three is an incredibly good design. The Tesla engineering team is amazing. When you see Optimus three, it will seem like a person in a robot outfit which is how we started with Optimus. Really, it's going to be something special. And then Optimus 4, that hopefully starts production in 27, and then Optimus 5 in 28. So it's kind of like an annual release cycle with significant improvements with each one and gigantic increases in the scale of production. Do I believe that Tesla is going to be able to scale Optimus at the speed that Elon has made public? I don't. However, I do believe they're going to be extremely successful, and I also believe that they will scale faster than any other humanoid robot manufacturer. With that being said, when it comes to mass producing the robot, Elon said, so the scale of Optimus, like I said, that's really going to be something else. I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. So like bigger than cell phones, bigger than anything. I guess the way to think about it is that every human on earth is going to want to have their own personal R2-D2 C-3PO, so who wouldn't? Now beyond just personal demand, what about commercial demand? Elon said, I think in terms of industry providing products and services, I think it's probably, I don't know, three to five robots in industry for every one that's a personal robot. I think there could be tens of billions of Optimus robots out there. Tens of billions of Optimus robots, that is kind of crazy to comprehend. Now that could eventually happen. I don't know if that's going to happen in my lifetime, but it's good to know that Elon is not thinking small here because even if he reaches a fraction of the scale that he's talking about here, it's going to be something that changes the future and really defines an era. Elon continued on, so we're going to launch on the fastest production ramp 
of any product of any large complex manufactured product ever, starting with building a 1 million unit production line in Fremont, and that's line one. Now building 1 million robots per year on a single production line, that is impressive just at face value. But when you dial back a little further and you actually see how many robots that is building per month, week, day, hour, and minute, it's really impressive. For example, that would be over 83,000 robots per month at a scale of 1 million per year, over 19,000 robots per week, over 2,700 robots per day, and almost two robots per minute. That really is an insane production rate. And that is supposedly just the beginning, that 1 million production line building basically two robots every minute is impressive. Of course, Tesla is not going to stop there because Elon said, and then a 10 million unit per year production line. I don't know where we're going to put the 100 million unit production line, maybe on Mars. I don't know. So once again, to understand how insane these production numbers are, I did the calculation for the 10 million and 100 million annual production numbers there once again per month, per week, day, minute. And you can see that at 1 million, once again, that's one robot every 32 seconds or so, at 10 million per year, every three seconds, and at 100 million, that's a robot every 0.3 seconds. Elon went on, but I think it's going to literally get to 100 million a year, maybe even a billion a year. And you know, people often talk about like eliminating poverty, giving everyone amazing medical care, well, there's actually only one way to do that, and that's with the Optimus robot. When it comes to how useful these robots could be in the future, Elon went on to say, with humanoid robots, you can actually give everyone amazing medical care. Optimus will ultimately be better than the best human surgeon with a level of precision that is beyond human. So I think that it's a pretty wild concept to say. People always talked about eliminating poverty, but Optimus will actually eliminate poverty. Optimus will actually give people incredible medical care. Elon then went on to describe a really interesting use case for an Optimus robot where basically instead of putting someone in jail, you just have an Optimus robot follow them around and keep them from committing a crime, then they don't actually have to be locked up. I don't know if I agree that that would be a good use case for an Optimus robot or that that'll actually happen in the future, but Elon is a very creative thinker here. And it's just interesting to think about how these robots could be used in the future. And this is just a glimpse into Elon's thinking here on this topic. There's potential for a huge economic impact of the Optimus robot. And Elon discussed this by saying, so Optimus is kind of like an infinite money glitch. And maybe there won't be even money in the future. Money might be measured in terms of wattage, like how much power you can bring to bear from an electrical standpoint. With all that being said, despite Elon's optimism here and the reality probably isn't going to quite meet that optimism when it comes to the scale and the volume of Optimus, I do believe once again that Tesla is going to be extremely successful with their Optimus program. I believe that they're going to scale beyond what a lot of people believe and beyond any other robot, humanoid robot manufacturer. And I'm extremely excited to see their version 3 Optimus and of course future versions that improve more and more. It's going to be an exciting future in many ways with these humanoid robots walking around, especially the Tesla Optimus robots. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also remember to check out Novium Hover Pins by either clicking the link in the video description or scanning the QR code that's on the screen right now. And if you use code CLEANERWATT at checkout, you can get 15% off for the first 48 hours after the release of this video, or after 48 hours, you can get 10% off plus free shipping to most countries. I also want to say thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.